All right, man. What's up, YouTube? It's your main man, Andy Hero, back again with another video. This time, man, we got a special guest in the building. We got my man, Traversal Entertainment. Uh, we, we got some, we got some, 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 some deep, impactful information here for y'all today. Today, um, and 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 I think that y'all, you you gonna appreciate it, right? Because I think my, what my man wants to do, and what we got for y'all. It's really going to outline to you that while 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 Lamelo might be having one of the best rookie seasons ever ever on the court, he may be making moves off the court that 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 are just as big and trans transversal. You feel me? Facts. Mm -hmm. And so, and I'll, I'll give y'all some background on how on how this we got here. But but I want my daughter to intro, to intro himself and and all that stuff first. Go ahead. All right, guys, so in typical traversal ENT fashion, you're back with traversal ENT in the building, guys, alongside AB the hero, featured on this platform, Mr. Privilege. Can't wait to get the information that to you guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. So um, a couple, couple of days ago, I did a video on here where Jalen Rose, um, y'all know Jalen Rose, Rose, Jim Jacoby, um, he was a uh, pacer, just NBA vet, you know, everybody knows Jalen. One of the sharpest hairlines in the game, you know what I mean? Um, one of the baddest chicks in the game as well, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, Jalen, for that. You know, you need to be be mended for that. Um, um, but he, he did a, a video or had a segment on his podcast where he talk, talked about LaMelo Ball was told by the, 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 the State Warriors that they were going to draft him number two overall. And, and they ended up not doing it, obviously, right? My man, we did that video. My man hit me and said, "Yo, yo, wow, <laughs> yeah, that was in there. That was an impressive video. Yo, but but you missed a nugget. You missed something big here. So I'm gonna play a clip from that. This um, a a, a clip from that day when Jalen was talking with Lamelo and he was also talking with Jermaine Jackson Jackson and that stuff. And I want y'all to be listening. Listen, put your put your listening ears on and hear what he's saying. Then I'm gonna let my dog go off for a little bit and really just break this thing down to y'all. Let me see. Let me get it back right. All right. So you see Melo clean as a whistle on draft day coming down the steps. Let's let's let it roll. What up, you? Good what up, family? Good? Congratulations, dog. I'm good Congratulations. Right now. Jesus with me right now, so I'm feeling good. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, look at that fit. What about them headphones? Tell what's up yeah, with them headphones, headphones I, right there. Hey, dog, this the future right here. Look, camera. Those are crazy. That's a camera. Camera, dog. Third eye. <laughs> that is crazy. Feel me? Yeah, hey, I'm an owner in it. I'm an owner in it too, dog. Oh, oh that's dope. That's you know, dope. You that's a game we're changer. Gonna, we're gonna send you some. We're gonna send you some. Done, done, and done. Yes, Black right. and gold. We gotta go downstairs to get it together. So we finna see you in a minute, my dog. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he say he used a what in them headphones now? <laughs> he said he saw a camera in them headphones. <laughs> oh, third eye. eye. Okay, all right, all right. Game changer. <laughs> Game changer. So. Uh so now, uh, break, break this down t for me. Now, tell me, I, I, I heard it right there. Well, mm. What's going on? What's the what, what you got from me? All right, guys. So, uh, hear this up now. Now, understandably, a lot of you lot saw that clip, and the majority were just focused on the fact that it was a draft night. So was I. So it kind of went over a lot of people's heads, right? So I'm going to break it down to you lot. The significance of that conversation that the Melo had with Jaden. Pay close attention, guys. All right. So there's two main characters that I want you lot to keep in mind when, as I go through this. Let's touch on the first guy. His name's Jason Hardy. For those of you who don't know, Jason Hardy is the founder and CEO of Music. Music, spelled M-U-Z-I-K, is an organization that creates smartware, right? So they deliver next generation of socially connected devices and experiences. A little bit of background on this Jason guy. He also works with 50 Cent when 50 came out with the SMS headphone set. So Jason jumped on board with 50, 50 hollered at him. Jason jumped on board with 50, but then he kind of, he did his part and he sold his share of that investment, multi-millions he made out of that. Since then, Jason's embarked on his own thing and he's launched his own project music as you're looking at it on the screen right there, guys. Check it out. So who is, 
Let's talk about the elite team, right? This elite team of investors. So what Jason managed to do, he managed to get himself a couple of high profile, I'm talking multi-millionaires slash billionaire investors to put money into his project that he has a vision of, right? So these investors, they believe in his project and they've pumped money in there. One of the main guys or the lead investor is a guy by the name of Francois-Henri Pinault, French multi-billionaire, and he is the CEO and chairman of a company named Kering, K-E-R-I-N-G. Type that on Google, guys, when you get a chance, right? So let me tell you a bit about Kering and what they do so you kind of understand the caliber of men we're talking about here, guys. So Kering, <laughs> they are an international high-end luxury powerhouse which acts as an umbrella company. And they look after and they manage as well as promote other high-end companies such as Gucci, St. Laurent, Bottega Veneta, Balenciaga. So those top high-end brands such as those, that's what Kering looks after. They come under the Kering umbrella. So this guy, this French multi-billionaire Francois, is a top player, guys. And he pumped in around about, I'd say about 35 million straight into music with the whole project, right? So he's the first player in the game, right? This elite team of investors and shareholders, right? So you've got this multi-billionaire who's done that. And then you've got the second player in this is none other than Michael Jeffrey Jordan. That's right. The owner or the, of the Charlotte Hornets also pumped in a good percentage of money into the music project and the music, the whole idea, the whole vision of it, right? So you've got two top, well, both of them are billionaires, guys, and they've both pumped their money into this project. So who is the third person? The third person in this team is none other than your boy, Lamelo Ball. That's right. Now, the amount that Lamelo Ball's invested in this project is not disclosed, so we don't have the figures for how much Lamelo's pumped into it, but he is an investor and he is a shareholder in music, guys. That's why Lamelo said in the clip, I'm an owner of this too. That's exactly what he meant. And as a result, Jason, the CEO of music, has partnered up with Lamelo, and that's why you're seeing him on the screen and everyone's rocking those t-shirts that's got Melo's name on it, right, guys? So these are big moves. These are, to say boss move would be an understatement. This is like a power move, guys, because you have to understand what this means. This means that when the music project picks up and blows up, Lamelo Ball passively is going to be racking in serious serious money we're talking multi-millions coming in passively for him so he's secured the he's more than secured the bag guys more than secured the bag all right so we've got this team of elite investors and shareholders so anytime jason wants to gather up that elite team and talk about certain things he's calling up multi-billionaires he's calling up millionaires and he's calling up lamello ball as well right okay let's move on guys so, I mean, this is big news. I, I, I don't know if you want to uh, yeah. add anything to that, AB, or show any like slides or anything like that. Well, I, I pulled up this here, right? And, and, and you brought some huge names who are associated with music. Then, then you said, you type in the Googles and, and they throwing out Drake in, in there. Too. So, so when you go Mellow Ball, you go Drake, you go Michael Jordan, you go French billionaire. We don't know the name, name of, you know what I'm saying? That's how you know you got money. When we don't know who you is, <laughs> you know, the bag is there. Kevin Hart rocking the headphone. Uh, I think you mentioned Cardi B earlier. You know what Cardi I mean? B. It's a, uh, I think that th what this reminds me of is he's why Dre first jumped off, right? The one of the market I, I read this book is is called the Tan and the Feather. Steve Stout, he was one of the dudes who like helped with some of the some of the market stuff behind the scenes. Jimmy Iovine, Interscope, all of that stuff. And and the the strategy was, yo, you know, you know, let's just get these headphones on some cool people, and that's gonna blow up Beast by Dre. Right. Me, this is another another level because it's like not just let's get these headphones on cool people, but let's make sure our owners are cool. You know what nice. I'm saying? Facts. So it's a it's a different level of love of investment in like if I Drake saying yo uh, we want to make sure this work out that's a that, you know what I mean that's another level so I I, exactly. I I see why why you was like yo this is this is massive.
It is yeah. absolutely massive, absolutely massive. I mean, this 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 organization, music, they've had previous projects in the past before with other investors, as you mentioned, Cardi B's, the Drakes of this world, and the Kevin Hart's. So you've got a lot of high A-list celebs and figures who believe in the project. They know this is going to be something really, really big. And guys, it's bigger than just headphones. As I said, they design smartware. So they're incorporating smartware technology into the headphones, but also the fashion side of things. As I said, the French billionaire, he deals with the whole high-end fashion side of things. So these these are going to be devices that's going to be costing you stupid amounts of money. These ain't like your $300 stuff that you're going to purchase from the shops. We're talking high-end technology here. And the metal ball is the face of all of that because he's partnered up with music that this is this is massive guys this is absolutely big mm -hmm. and and you know what i think that as you you break this down right it's something that you mentioned earlier of uh, you got a lamella ball who already is investing in technology we we've seen moves that lamello has already attempted to make in the past from being the youngest or the first not even the youngest the only only kid in high school with his own signature shoe Facts. basically his own basketball league you know what i'm saying <laughs> and right. then going overseas in illawarra hooping winning rookie of the year and then my man does what goes over there and says you know what man could i buy the team facts <laughs> guys <laughs> let me let Let's explore that a little bit because that is quite interesting that Lamelo did that. And actually that kind of woke my eyes up to what Lamelo is actually doing. This kid is way ahead of his time. Like not just in the basketball court, but in business. I would love to know who Lamelo Ball's financial advisors are. For real, I need those details. I need that in my life, guys, for real. <laughs> like, let's, let me show you some parallels that Lamelo Ball has with none other than Michael Jordan, guys. It's gonna blow your mind when you actually consider the scope of this right so let's look at it guys so as my man ab just told you lamello ball's been making records right with his youngest guy to record a triple double in the nba right he is also uh he surpassed michael jordan's rookie season already in his first year in the nba and he's still going right so that's one thing that he's done noted tick part two mj the chairman, owner of the Charlotte Hornets franchise, right? Lamella Ball attempted to buy which team, as AB just told you? Illawarra Hawks. You see the connection there? You see the similar moves there? Check. Let's look more into it, guys. Let's end there, right? So now you see that Lamella Ball is not only surpassing Jordan in some aspects, but he's making similar business moves to Jordan. And now both of these guys are in a team of millionaire billionaire shareholders and investors for the same company and you've got lamello ball who is the face of that who is in partnership with jason when it comes to that guys make no mistakes about it michael jordan is absolutely he's got a magnifying glass and he is watching lamello ball very very closely guys the way i see it with the whole, you know, revelations of all of these things coming into light with what Lamelo's doing in terms of his business ventures. The way I see it is like this. Lamelo Ball is fast pacing himself, fast pacing himself to become a direct competitor with Michael Jordan. And I'm not just talking about in the basketball courts, guys. I'm literally talking about overall in business as well as on the courts. And guys, here's the thing, here's the thing. Lamelo's only 19 years old. My God, this is what you call securing the bag. When I heard this news, right, and I researched it, I tell you guys straight up, I was absolutely gassed. I was hyped. I was like, what? 19 year olds doing this? Is involved in that? It's like, it blew my mind away. It absolutely blew my mind away, guys. So like, I mean, it's really interesting now because you kind of wonder, how does Jordan look at Lamelo? How does he view him? Like, what is Jordan's mindset knowing that this kid is involved in businesses that I'm involved with? He's playing for my team, X, Y, Z. It just makes the dynamic of their relationship so much more interesting, so much more controversial as well. Because now every little thing that happens to Melo Melo on the court, you kind of think to yourself, well, Jordan's very well aware of all of this. What do you think, Amy? 
I, I think think I think you on to something. And I think that what I find also interesting is as I hear you lay those things out, out I think about the conversation that people have about, about LaMelo's path to the NBA, right? Right. And how his path to the NBA has allowed him him to be prepared as much as he is on the court to operate with with poise. But then I think that people overlook his path to the NBA and how that's prepared him financially to, to win as you have just described, right? Off the court. Because obviously if you take, you got Lon, Lon's brother who, who is he's a NBA player and, and that, that, that comes with his own a lot of money right there, right? Mm -hmm. But I think that you also have a LaMelo Ball who is a part of his own reality show. We've seen that in today's age you we mikey williams got a reality show uh julian newman got a reality show so it's right. not like it's not like yo you gotta be a mcdonald's all american, all -American brother and, and the, you know what i mean you just gotta be able on you gotta be on top of your brand and you gotta control it and then then now you get in those positions to have that kind of opportunity right. you look at before he even touched a, a NBA dollar, he was trying to buy the Illawarra Hawks because of said opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Every other rookie, rookie who, is, who has, who just got draft, draft, waited until the season started in order to sign a shoe deal. Melo been locked in, locked in. You know what I mean? We knew he was $100 million with Puma. So, so I'm just saying all that to say like, his path half has not really allowed him to 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 dominate on the court, but he's in posi position as a rookie on my rookie contract. Yo, with my owner, owner here is investing in some, and, and I have the bag over here too, where I can do that. Do that. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And let, let, I mean that that goes really well with what I'm about to tell you next, which is a quote that Jason, the CEO of Music, actually said about Lamelo. Right. So, I mean, I'll paraphrase it. He said that one of the things that really impressed him about LaMelo and why he wanted to partner with him is he loves LaMelo's journey and it kind of reminds him of himself and his journey. He says LaMelo didn't have a conventional route to get to where he got to. He's had a disruptive journey and he's overcome those obstacles and he's authentic. And he says that he really appreciated that about LaMelo because he himself is an authentic guy with authentic ideas. So that kind of makes you think, because, you know, I saw an interview with Michael Jordan uh, I can't remember who he had that with. He might have had it with, uh, he might have had it with Oprah Winfrey or something like that. And Jordan was talking about how a lot of the young guys today, they are given everything. They haven't earned what they gain. Whereas he comes from an era where you literally had to sweat, perform, produce to get anything, right? And Lamelo, as we know, he is not the conventional rookie. He's not the conventional NBA player. He's taken routes that you wouldn't even dream to send anybody to. I mean, the guy played for Lithuania. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it, it played in pre pre Lithuania. That's not that's that's not cool Lithuania to Lithuanians. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in Lithuania, you don't want to go to go to Pete. You feel me? Like, if you from Los Angeles, you don't want to go to Lithuania, and, and you crippled thousand percent don't want to go to Prini. You feel, you feel me? hundred percent, a hundred percent. And it kind of shows you the mindset and like, you know, the, the makeup of this kid, right? Lamelo. he's quite, he's got a strong mind to survive something like that in the harsh conditions that Lithuania give you around that time of the year that he was in there. Not to mention the fact that he came into a team that wasn't necessarily going to open their arms to him. He was, a, he was a stranger as far as they were concerned, right? So to have to go through that, overcome that, learn from that, then from that go into Australia where he done his thing and he kind of was becoming the face of the NBL, if not the face of the NBL. Yeah. And now to find himself in the NBA and people are talking about Lamelo as potentially becoming a future face of the NBA. This is a conversation that's already out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's not something that me and yours is talking about. This, this, is, this is crazy. So, mm. I mean, this kid is majorly impressive. And this is why, again, Jalen Rose looked at him and said, wow, this is game changing because it really is game changing stuff, guys. Crazy, right? Yeah, no, that that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Uh, we definitely going to have to continue this conversation and as things play out and all and all of that, man. What I want you to do, though, is take this this and give yourself another shout out man let the people know know where to find you at we're gonna link, gonna link to your description all that stuff and then we'll get it rocking like that 
Absolutely, guys. So if you haven't seen my videos already, I'm sure some of you already know who I am. Traversal ENT. Type me up is what you see on the screen. Trove ENT. You get, you'll find my channel. All the videos are there. I cover the Bull family. Not every, I don't cover basketball in its entirety, but I definitely cover the Bull family, guys. And I also cover boxing and other sports. So you'll find it on the channel. Make sure you go in there and have a look at that, guys. All right, all right, man. Uh, I appreciate you coming through. Through, uh, get out of here. We don't want it to be to be too long because you know how folks is. They pay attention, just be tripping and all that stuff. But yes. let's uh, let's do this again, man. Eventually, we're gonna get the live streams popping and all that stuff where we can bring folks in and, and get their opinions as well. As well, so I have to have you on for that as well, man. And uh, you have to have me over there on the on the channel as well, dropping some knowledge, knowledge yes. and and all of that jazz, man. Well, we're gonna I will do that out for sure. Show, sure. hey, amen, ABD Hero. We out. Peace. Peace out.